the procedures for both the driver side and passenger side are the same. We are demonstrating on the driver's side because it has the trunk and deck lid switch in it, red arrow. Use a trim removal tool and starting at one end, lift the plate away from the vehicle, straight up. Once you get started, you can get your hand underneath and pull it up with your hand. You will need to clear the molding as you go, red arrow. Work your way from one end to the other using care not to crack the plate. Lift the sill up. Here you can see the two metal clips that sit into openings in the body, red arrows. If these stay in the body, just pry them out and reinstall them into the sill plate. You can also see the plastic alignment pieces on each end. Disconnect the wiring harness for the trunk and the deck lid, red arrow, by gently pulling back on the connector and separating them. If you are replacing the sill, you will need to transfer over the switch assembly. Very carefully pry the four clips that hold the assembly in place in and down and away from the sill plate, red arrows. It helps to push down on the ends while doing this, blue arrows. The outer sill plates are attached by glue. They also have an indentation where they allow for the door impact bar to go, red arrow. I recommend you use a heat gun to help the adhesive give up some of its hold and then use a large trim removal tool to remove the sill. You will also need to clear the door molding and run it back into place upon installing the new sill plate. Clean the area well before installing the new sill. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.